Hi, it's time for EV Reacts. <laughs> Start a new channel. <laughs> um, a comment on my uh, time lapse of my switchboard upgrade here. Uh, Marcus uh, Resch, 89889, thank you very much. You should do a reaction video about how Euro European boards are being built. Okay, I'm going to click on the link and see how European react to how European boards are being built. I'm sure it's like, you know, you're gorgeously loomed and perfectly. You got to remember, this is a switchboard upgrade, okay? You have to work with the existing cables and the existing cable lengths. And this is just how it's done here in Australia. There's nothing inherently electrically wrong with how we do it here in Australia. It's just different for different environments, different, you know, um, yeah different everything but anyway let's do a react shall we i don't i have no idea I haven't clicked on it i don't know if there's audio or whatnot yeah i've got my audio enabled so maybe you'll be able to hear this uh let's go oh 39 minutes <laughs> i'm not gonna react to 39 minutes i'm gonna have to scrub it okay there you go sorry um yes I, I don't speak it, so I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave the audio going at a low level. Hier könnt diese Unterverteilung komplett verdrahtet am Ende gewinnen. Okay, you just have DIN rails. Um, okay, you've got a metal enclosure. Um, we use, yes, those plastic housings inside a metal enclosure here. Um, it's just common, but you can get metal. You can, you can do whatever you want. You know, if you're building a new house, you can specify whatever you want right it's you know the the code is the code but how it's done is more of like a sort of like a de facto industry uh thing you could specify all metaling you could specify this here in australia for a residential house um i don't think there's any problems with that um at all really i don't know electricians australian electricians leave it in the comments down below but i don't think there is anything i'm um, stopping you it's just you know general practice and you know stuff like that but uh okay We've got some uh, neat DIN rail stuff. Nothing different to what we're doing so far. So, yep, okay. We've got the empty thing. Is he installing a new house? I, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, yep, okay. I don't know what that is. But, yep, oh, Hager. Exactly the same. Okay. So, so it's all the same. Nothing's different so far. Uh, okay. So they're installing a bunch of stuff. There's other control things that i'm not what is that that's a phoenix contact oh okay um yeah they're, they're just a whole bunch of interconnects for some sort of comms thing uh, and, uh, yes automaton so automation some sort of automation thing so yeah which i don't have any of that so you know um no uh, really what i'm interested in is the wiring so oh this is bloody youtube's taken a while um, yeah, and these these blocks, yeah, he's pointing out. I don't know what they are. Once again, looks like some sort of interconnection block or something. And this thing over here, is that a... No, it's just an on-off. I thought that might have been a power diverter or something. No, it's just a... Oh, that's a big three-phase three phase break. Has that got an earth leakage breaker in? Okay. Nipex. Nice. Nipex make good gear, by the way. Um, so yeah, we've got a stripper. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, we're going to strip a stripper porn. Stripper porn. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, as uh, Simon calls it, the apprentice strippers. The apprentice strippers. <laughs> nice art uh, feral. Yeah. So, I don't know. Are ferals allowed here in Australia for electrical? Like for the mains? I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. I'm not entirely sure. And there, there you go. Crimper. For you crimper aficionados. Nipex. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I kind of want the finished thing. Okay. So, yeah. It's a nice big box with neat wiring and everything. Bit of comparison. Come on. Let's, let's go. Okay. So, yeah. They're putting the cables in the back. It's really... It's oh got some time lapse now. It, it's not that different, really, to here. It's just like a metal enclosure, and this is inside somewhere, obviously, right? And and they're using ferrules, so which is not a thing here. I don't know pros and cons. Feral fanboys and uh, <laughs> feral non fanboys, flame away down below. Um, is that like a big earth connect? Yeah, big big earth connection. Okay, so yeah, it's just a earth interconnect. Okay. 
Cool. Das heißt, wir haben jetzt hier unten dann den Neutralleiter. Der ist dann eben für diese Gruppe zuständig. Sorry, I don't, know. I don't understand what he's saying. Das müssen wir hier jetzt einspeisen. Und zwar, dafür haben wir diese Neutralleiterschiene. Die setzen wir jetzt hier ein. Why is he putting in the middle? Dafür brauchen wir auch übrigens diese zwei blauen Blättchen hier. Das sind nämlich die Halterung. What does that metal plate do? Some sort of position, I heard. I don't know. Yeah. Leave it in the comments. Everyone's going to flame away that I don't understand. Go ahead. <laughs> so yeah, that's for some automation thing. So, I, like, yeah, it's very neat and tidy and great. You can do that here if you want to build a new house. No problems whatsoever. You know, you, you don't have to necessarily do it the way my house is done. As um, Simon said in the video, uh, yeah, like the new mansions, they'll often have like a room dedicated, like a small little closet kind of room dedicated to like a big switchboard. And, you know, he'll put in like 36 circuits or something like that, you know, gigantic switchboard. Then you'll have another uh, box for like home automation and stuff like that. And you'll, you know, you'll wire it gorgeously and from scratch and everything. It's like, yeah, a upgrade to an existing 1980s fuse box here in Australia is going to be, yeah, it's, it's going to be different to this, but ultimately not a huge amount. So nothing here surprises me at all. Um, sorry, it's a boring reaction video. Come on, YouTube, what the hell? <laughs> do, 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 oh, I'm going to get copyright struck. <laughs> and yeah, okay. It's exactly what oh he's putting in the uh, what is what is this coming in here yeah a big uh, link uh, yeah it's a hager link box uh, thing so yep cool cool bananas that's it now we've got some documentation why is youtube so slow ah oh, there you go got the wiring diagram for it no wackers here you go for those playing along at home yeah do we have a before oh oh he's got a, a he's got labeling machine yeah um, yeah, all right. Yeah, there you go. There's the final thing. Yeah, it's neat and fine. And that's how you do it here if you decided to use like a metal box like this. I don't see the difference, really. Um, yeah, you can't necessarily compare, as I said, my switch box upgrade. Oh, it's basically just a rewire. It's just, you know, it's setting it in a nice, you know, sort of getting rid of the rat's nest and just rewiring. Electrically, it's basically no difference whatsoever um, to my existing box. None at all. <laughs> it's just like, so in terms of safety, in terms of code compliance or anything like that, there's a few little things about little sharp objects and little burrs on the uh, conduit um, inlets and stuff like that. But in terms of the actual uh, wiring, it was it was fine it just looked messy and it still looks a bit messy because you had to work with the existing wires not like you could rip them all out and extend them and stuff like that it's more uh, trouble than it's worth so yeah that's that's neat but okay that, that doesn't surprise me at all sorry boring reaction video but <laughs> thanks for um posting that link um catch you next time